Lisa Brick here. Today I'm going to be doing a video that's a bit different. I'm going to be testing out one of the JML ceramic coated hair straightening brushes. I'm showing you, I've just got out of the shower, so my hair is all natural. Very curly and frizzy, it's going to be. So I'm just going to blow dry it, show you guys once it's dry what's naturally like once it's dry, and then show you the brush to see if it works. Give it a rating out of 10. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to leave my hair to dry itself a bit instead of blowing it the whole way through. Really, I don't normally blow dry my hair because it's quite damaging, says the girl testing out a straightening hairbrush. But we'll give it a go. Right, uh, so this is what the box looks like. It's a JML as seen on TV product, so it was £38. I mean, my mum went half seasonal. She didn't hold my hair. dried and somehow I've managed to half straighten it with the blow dryer so it's just super frizzy now but you know that's what it's like when it's I think it's pretty sure it's 100 percent dry well 90% dry so let's plug this bad boy in I'm really worried I'm gonna burn myself it's just like using a normal hairbrush even so I'm just gonna forget and like grab all the bristles and shit so and right I'm gonna set it to 210 first it says natural hair 210 but for curly or thick hair so if you have naturally curly or thick hair do you set it at 230 or 210 I do not know let's start at 210 go it says it shows the um, temperature going up it's 165 it's going to take quite some time to warm up hmm it's still going up nearly there Right, 204, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the temperature. Right. Um, I'm going to start with a little bit. Right. I'm put my brush near the room. I'm going to just scrape them downwards. Is it not? Maybe let's try a bigger section. Oh, it is. It is working. Let's take a couple, a couple brushes, I suppose. Oh, look at that. It actually works. Right, I'm going to do a bit more and then show you guys how it's going. This is natural curly and this is a tiny little bit that we just did properly well not this extra bit this is falling out from the rest of this yeah it works really well I haven't done this little tuft yet <laughs> this is natural and this is with the brush it works really well I'm really impressed I was loving this I was like oh look at this it's tugging a little bit, but it's straightening my hair. And then I looked at the brush, the little rubber bits are literally ripping my hair out. Can you see? Oh my god. It's pulling my hair out. And that's not even like a bit that's like frazzled or something. It's just. Fuck. That's not good. Probably shouldn't be taking it out while it's really hot either. Hmm, it's pulling quite badly. This bit's not wet. Gosh, it's not fun. I am not enjoying this anymore. It might be because I'm doing too big a section, but I still don't think it should be ripping my hair out. Oh, this is not fun. Carry on for the sake of a review. Can't give it a review if you don't persevere, can we? Gosh. Now. She's got a lot more hair to straighten. This might work better for her, but this seems to be a lot more time consuming. Not that grey and pulling my hair out. Hmm, I'll carry on and give you another update in a second. I want to carry on with this because it's the little, you can see the, on the pink bits, the little rubbery tips. You can see how much my hair is in it. 
the little rubbery tips of rubber and rubber is not going to go through your hair smoothly so I don't really understand this design but and that's how much hair I've just pulled out of it and there's obviously you can see that there's plenty more in it oh I'm a bit worried I don't think I'd use this again not for 40 pounds 40 pounds is like I don't know a few a few more dollars and it's just pulling my hair out. Mm -hmm. It's doing a good job, I suppose. It's not as straight as straighteners would get it. The top section is completely dry now. You can see how much curlier it is compared to the straighteners. Well, you can't actually, to be fair. But I'm gonna see if it's still clean now that this bit's like bone dry. Ow! Oh, guys, am I doing something wrong? doing can it it shouldn't have why has it got rubber tips on each little ceramic bit rubber's obviously gonna rubber is obviously gonna catch isn't it this is a bad bad design that's ripping my hair out i'm following the instructions yeah separate a part of hair to be straightened firmly hold the hair and brush from the root to tip that's what it's held. That's what I'm doing, isn't it? Get a part of your hair, okay? So not a slim section or anything. Put it near the roots, hold it firmly. Oh, I'm not enjoying this experience. <laughs> I've had such high hopes for this. Shit, did it again. Guys, I don't want to carry on, but I feel like I should. Right, combed it through my fingers, no knots on it. It's literally ripping my hair out. Oh, it's like it's like bunching it all up and making it into a big knot. There was obviously not a knot in it. You saw me just comb it through my fingers. Oh my lord, this is horrible. I give this a zero out of ten. That's a, that's a bit harsh. I give it like a two out of ten because it's done. It's straightened your hair straightened my hair but I don't think it should come at a cost of pulling big chunks of your hair out should it? I'm doing everything they suggest it's just pulling my fucking hair out and it says on it to clean dust out of it just to use a dry cloth but I'm not sure how I'm meant to get burned hair out of it oh my god I want to like sue them I'm just joking it's only hair but still imagine people with fine hair if they got the hair pulled out, you'd be able to tell me. My hair's just a bit thicker and purple, so... Right, it's straightened it quite well. It doesn't feel that damaged. Mm, the ends feel quite damaged. And that isn't from hair down, because I only had it cut like a, a few weeks ago. This is not a nice product, to be honest. Right. I think... I'm going to leave it there so that I don't lose any more hair from my head. Right, I'd say... Shut up. Right, I would say... Like... 8 out of 10 for actual straightening. Because it's straightened my hair quite well. Yeah, it's straightened my hair quite well. It's just about like... Not quite as good as when I straighten it with straighteners. And... Um, it's really heavy. I might just have like really weak arms, but I think it's quite heavy. And it pulled a lot of my hair out, so I'd give it overall a lot of hair everywhere. I'm gonna give it three out of ten. Right, I'm gonna show you a video in a minute, a uh, close up of my hair and all the bits of hair that it pulled out. So enjoy. Final thoughts. Uh, this is my hair straightened up in that with heat protectors and stuff um, and this is how much hair it pulled out of my head not bad I can't get it out in between these little bits either so I'm not sure how you meant to clean it but I'll wait till it's cooled down I guess and get some tweezers or something I would give this product a 7 out of 10 I'm not impressed it was £40 and it's pulled my hair out 
frizzled my hair, even though it was only meant to be on 210, but obviously it got a lot hotter than that because straighteners don't make my hair feel like this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my review and take what I said at face value. See you soon, bye!